This is what's left of the Snyder's home. A day after a wildfire ripped through their two-story hilltop home. The blaze broke out Wednesday morning and burned through 350 acres in the La Cresta area just west of Murrieta. Got my parents to grab a few things and told them it's time to go. I had a good feeling the house is going to burn down. So we grabbed a few things and then went up the street and watched it burn from the neighbor's property. The Snyders watched their home go up in flames on Wednesday, but they are thankful that they all made it out okay. They even got the chance to hug and thank some of the firefighters for helping them save some of their family mementos. What are you do? I'm going to replace everything else, yes, but not my picture, so yeah, thank you so much. I, I can't thank thing. you enough. Okay. John Hopkins is an angel. He saved 90% of pictures, and I don't know if that's even... No, probably not. <laughs> but all the really important... All the really important pictures, and he saved That's good. Toys, that's, he, did a very, he, just, he did a very good job. Very sweet job, and he's just very um, warming, and we love you. Neighbors gathered on Wednesday and watched from afar as flames and smoke filled the sky, hoping their homes were not the next to go up in flames. The Snyder's home was the only home destroyed. Cal Fire said the blaze burned through the Sylvan Meadows Park area near the Santa Rosa Plateau Ecological Reserve and into rural La Cresta. The fire was caused by a county transportation department worker mowing weeds alongside Tanaha Road. Three firefighters did suffer minor injuries, one of whom was taken by paramedics to a hospital for treatment. The fire is 75% contained as of Thursday morning, and Cal Fire said they hope to have it contained by Thursday night. I'm Jackie West for the Press Enterprise and PE.com.